30 volts, seems to hear. I think as I've talked about in previous vlogs, my R6 is deed. And I basically use that as a winter bike. I also used it as a track bike. Because ultimately it was worth you know, 1500 quid maybe. Tops I suspect. Ugh, excuse me. Marmite burp. Ugh. Um, but it was a bike that I could use on track and ruin and all the rest of it on a winter bike rather than destroying Lizzie. Because Lizzie should be used on days like this. Nice and dry. And I always said when that R6 died, I would convert it to a track bike. The only problem was, I, I don't have the time and space at the minute. If it had happened in a year's time, it would have been all good. I'd have stripped that bad boy apart and rebuilt it from ground up. It would have been an immaculate track bike. Oops. As it is, it's not time. So, me and one of my friends come up with a grand plan of going halves on a track bike. We're both more or less right at the same level. Um, we're both in kind of the intermediate groups. So the plan was that we can both go in the intermediate groups just in separate ones and we'll ask the organizers and it should be fine. Not a big problem. But my first thing was I had to do something with that R6. So I whacked it on eBay. The starting price is 750 quid hoping to get that to be honest. I was pretty convinced it wasn't going to be worth any more than about 500 notes. But somebody's messaged me and went, I'll give you a thousand pound for it. He was like, you want it for a thousand pound, you can take it. Gladly take it for a thousand pound. So that was this morning. So it looks like that's pretty much a done deal. Um, and if not, I'm sure it'll sell for a, or somebody else will have it anyway. But in the meantime, me and my friend actually have looked on eBay and found ourselves a cheeky track bike. But, well there is no but, we have bought a track bike. But it's off eBay so I, I don't know what it's going to look like, whether it is as described and all that type of thing. So that's where I'm going now. And get over your side of the road, you twat. So that's where I'm going now. So I emailed the guy and basically said, look, it's going to take a couple of days to get the cash together. Because we bought it on like a Saturday. I was busy. Sunday now. No banks are open. Can't get cash. Same as the guy who's buying the R6. That's his problem as well. So I said, look, you don't live too far away. I'll jump on a bike nice tomorrow, I'll come up, I'll view the bike, if everything's happy, I'll give you a deposit, and then I'll come pick it up at a later stage when I can. So, let's go see what this bike is like. Well, seen my track bike, and it looks good. The only problem is because he, he knew that I was coming up to put a deposit and things. But actually, the battery's disconnected and there's no bloody fuel in it in the minute, so... Uh, couldn't actually start it. But other than that, it looks genuine. He seems like a good and decent guy. He's actually selling it to fund a purchase of an RSV because he's got he's had a CBR 600 f um, since he passed his test. And he wants to upgrade to an RSV. So he's selling that to uh, to do some funds. <coughs> well, he's put a, an Olin steering damper on it. Apparently, it's, well, it's done one track day by all accounts. And the steering dampener was completely refurbished beforehand. So um, it, it looks bloody good. I've got to be honest, it's in decent nick for a 2000. There's a couple of scrapes on it, but it's a track bike, what do you expect? Apart from that, I think I've organised to pick it up maybe in a couple of weeks' time. I've given him cash for now or a deposit until we can uh, we can see it start. And apparently his mate really wants a Big Bang R1. <laughs> so he took a video of um, the bike starting and me riding away to tease his, one of his friends. 
but there we go track back on the way I'm not sure where I'll tell you what it is or whether I'll leave that one for another day depends how many people moan about it but uh, right, I'm gonna get on with the rest of my day now so uh, ride safe people and I'll speak to you all soon hamster out I thought I'd have a walk around the supercar garage. Look at the Alpha 911. And what Ferrari is that? I can't remember. And a ridiculously expensive push bike without a machine, without an engine. <laughs> I don't care, KTM. What have you done? Oh, but look at that. It's beautiful. It's an Enzo, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Do not touch. Do not sit in. Do not pass go. Look, look at the old Thruxty as well. It's one for Captain. Ridiculously expensive. Ridiculously oh, Look at the engine in them though. 85,000 with 7.5,000 on the clock. I reckon you could get 500 quid off. <laughs> I love the Gallardos as well. McLaren. The one that catches fire, another one that catches fire, maybe I shouldn't stand too close. Oh, that's one of the BMW Zeros, isn't it? Well, I'm not sure whether it's called a Zero, but it's the electric jobby. <coughs> Some good old Aston Martins, DBs, actually that's the baby DB, I'm sure it is. I love the baby DBs. I don't know where else they got up there. I don't want to be chucked out. It doesn't look like they're open, actually. So they can't mind people wandering around the supercars too much. I guess the really expensive ones. Yeah, there you go, Vantage S. <coughs> and the Rapide. I love that colour white. <coughs> Pearly. Jesus, that's been sat there a while. Check out those brake discs. <laughs> How many of these they actually sell? <laughs> ah, there's the ridiculously quick Mercedes, whatever it's called. That's the one I was thinking of, the i8. God, I wish I had money. Never mind, onwards and upwards to Box Hill. <laughs>